So I wanted to do this together. Had my first peek at these things and waiting for a while to see now. Oh, I'm gonna say, God damn, how far does the tape go? E -e -e. I probably should have set this up on a tripod, but I was being lazy. I wanted to kind of do it quick. I didn't expect it to take too long with this. Uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's tape on the side too. Damn it. Right there. There. Okay, I got it. Jesus. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. Hey, I'm busy. Hold on a second, goddammit. Jesus. Go to the table, bro. All right, so. Looking kind of beautiful here. Oh, so they're like vacuum sealed in this plasticky thingy. And I, I guess that maybe the cardboard cutouts were supposed to be sitting on like top of the rods or whatnot. Uh, let's see if I can poke it one handed without going too far in. Yes. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, definitely should have did. should have done the uh, tripod. Mm -hmm. Ta da! It's like opening a damn placenta or whatnot to get at the rods. These things are awesome looking. So the idea is supposed to be like a forge balance between the H beam and the I beam. Yeah, with the thickness. And they come up the upgraded rod bolts. Is it the 625? So, like I was throwing out in the picture when I, when I showed that I got them earlier, um, these things uh, were up on. Four Pistons website for $675. And I had been checking some time ago for the rods. And when I looked on eBay, they were around that price. So uh, I think I think I found one set, maybe like a 750 or 760 or something like that. But it was so close to Four Pistons price that I was like, I would just go to Four Pistons to order them. Because, you know, it's one thing to see something cheap every once in a while uh up on ebay by a random seller versus having a regular contact that always has it at a certain price so with the with it being only a couple dollars difference i was like well cool that means four piston has something that i can regularly go to to buy that um so i can support four piston and and not have to worry about paying like a exorbitant amount of money so 775 dollars i figured a super fair price for a 1200 horsepower rod right now I go and I check the website today because I wanted to take a screenshot and send it with the pictures and the fucking, uh, the, the rods have been marked down in price. It had like 680 and a slash through it and it was like 645. So it's $130 down from the, uh, from the, uh, the old price that was up. And that's, that's extremely well. So this is one of those things where guys, if you're thinking about making a, a moon build or like a rocket ship, you're trying to build a rocket ship, I would hop on that now because if you consider that, uh, I mean, it's a it's around double the price of regular rods, but you know, like you're talking about something that's rated for 700 horsepower versus something that's rated for 1200, right? Uh, I think it's fair to say that even on a budget build, um, this K24 is super easily manageable to buy. Uh, uh, so I I shared it in Snapchat, but of course, my caption was a little too big to add in there. So for you guys that haven't seen it, you know, what I'm saying like with a good set of pistons, which are around 550 dollars or so, uh, and these rods. You're looking at um you're looking at a, a thousand horsepower engine block with a rotating assembly that only costs you about twelve hundred bucks. <laughs> now, if you're buying, if you're building and buying this yourself, this is that's like it's next to nothing. It's like no cost to make a super powered block. Um, you send you send out your block uh, for CSS, and I think that's probably around a thousand dollars, maybe less. Around I think it's around a thousand dollars for that work if you go with the O ring. The more the high horsepower CSS and the Born Hone and all that stuff. So if you if you buy a baseball K24 on the low and uh and you buy the rods, buy pistons, and do the CS the high horsepower CSS, um 
you're looking at around a two thousand dollar build you know of course you got to add the bearings in there but around two thousand dollars for a, a, a thousand horsepower short block so um yeah it's pretty cool like i said i waited a long time to actually get my hands on these uh I'm actually even considering maybe buying a set for myself, but the only problem is I've got, I've got so many blocks right now that I could use that are capable of more than enough horsepower that I feel like if I bought these, I would just be sitting on them for years before I get to the point where I'm, I'm ready to use them. Um, but when the time comes for me to build my own personal uh, rocket ship, uh, this is the uh, this is the idea. This is what I'm going to go with. This is a hefty fucking rod, bro. This has got to be the heaviest performance rod I've ever felt. And I'm not saying, like, it's super heavy, but, like, you can definitely feel that this thing is ready <laughs> to take a beating. Um, so, uh, when it, when the time comes, uh, these are the rods I'm going to use for a, for a super build. Um, I have some ideas of some things I'd like to do now that money is, you know, greatly increased in the household. Um, I'd say almost doubled that I, I should have some wiggle room to play. I Again, like I said in my speech the other day, I, I want to wait to buy a house before I, I really commit to doing a build. But I got some ideas and some things I would like to try. And uh, eventually K-Turbo is going to line up, and this is the way I want to go. In the meantime, um, I got the K-24 block here. Now, I have everything I need now to assemble this block. So, um, plus, I you know I still need to do Roger's block. I'm going to need to put Roger's block together, too. So, um, the, I need to... I'm right now I'm on hold with the single cam. I'm waiting for the buyer to get back to me to see how we're going to proceed with that. Cause we ran into some issues the other day, some decisions need to be made. Uh, also, uh, the K24, the short block I had for homeboy for the, the budget one, it, that was unsafe. Well, I mean, it was savable, but savable at the cost that were, it would be cheaper to buy. Like I could buy five more engines <laughs> for the cost it would take me to save that one. So I did buy two more K24s, guys. So again, like I said, I have a K24 on the way for someone, and I have a K24 on the way that is unspoken for if you'd like to get into a bill with that. Also, um, uh, I was going to say, then, so there's, there have, have one block on hold, another block on hold until I get the new long block, and then I have two that are here with all the parts that are ready to go. So... Uh, I would like to either get the K24 done this weekend or Rogers B18 or possibly even both because I think they're both cleaned and prepped and ready to go. I just need to put them together. So we'll see what happens this weekend. In the meantime, I'm super happy I finally got my hands on a set of these. I've been waiting, for, like I said, for a long, a long time to see these. And I will leave a link to Four Pistons' website uh, for this uh, this rod. Uh, it may not be right away, guys, for the link because um, I am getting ready to go to work soon. So if you don't see the link, I mean, Four Pistons website is pretty easy to find. If not, uh, within 24 hours of me posting this video, I should have the link added to the description. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, peace.